When it comes to Roblox doors, some moments may just be as lucky as possible, or the players were thinking outside of the box and had it planned all along. These are 200 IQ moments in Roblox doors, and they will be some of the smartest moments you'll ever see in the game. What was the highest IQ moment you've ever had? Let us know down below, and let's get cracking at it. So you all know about the elevator generator puzzle at the end of the game, right? Well, most people try to solve this by doing it the traditional way, selecting only the options that are lit up, and that can be pretty difficult considering how many numbers can show up. You'd have to rely on your great memory skills in order to pull it off, but what if I told you there was another way of doing this? Smart players out there in the community, including some of the top speedrunners, have a specific way of solving this puzzle that involves with flickering on all the switches and just having to rely on those that are not lit up, which makes it so much easier. Now you only have to focus on two to four options instead of remembering upwards of six, which just makes everything so difficult, but at least your brain wouldn't have to strain as much doing this smart little trick. But hey, not only players can have high IQs moments, man. Sometimes the entities such as Screech and Eyes in this one can have 1,000 IQ moments like what Lightning Player encountered. It's nearly impossible to find Screech inside the vents like that due to some glitches. And when it comes to Eyes at the end along with Screech working together, you might as well call it game over. You'll die to one or the other anyway. How about this one? Most people already know the basic trick when it comes to encountering Halt as most simply turn away from the entity in order to run backwards, sacrificing some progress to stay alive. Some people do walk backwards and forwards, which isn't bad at all, and it does speed things up quite a bit. But there are some speedrunners out there that have a totally better strategy, which is high IQ. All they do is they time halt and simply just stand right in front of the entity before progressing through. It seems like it's making the entity respawn a whole lot faster and they don't lose their progress by walking backwards as well. It's a win-win situation for you, the players. Who has the better IQ? The entity or the player in this one? The mighty noticed Rush coming up from behind and they decided to use their vitamins in order to get a speed boost in hopes to try and avoid him. But I guess Rush has other plans in mind for him. Rush was able to call up eyes and spawn him a couple of rooms ahead and it did catch the player off guard outsmarting him in the process. Talk about not only great teamwork but also was kind of a karma moment, which is funny. Again, this time with Rush, this happens a lot, especially inside some of those vent rooms throughout the hotel, but if there is a wall with a door that is unable to be opened, Rush will actually backtrack a bit, trolling the players behind and killing them as well. It's like Rush figured out how to walk backwards and instead try to outsmart the players, which worked out well in his favor. Of course, vitamins are very useful items within the shop, especially if you use them in the right scenarios. You don't usually want to race them in hallways unless you are speedrunning, then that's okay. But using them while another entity is coming right behind you, or in order to get yourself out of a little predicament such as this one, is always a smart move in order to keep going and stay alive. Heck, you can even use vitamins against figure if you wanted to try and get door 50 done a little easier and faster, which I never actually thought about until now. Granted, the entity does speed up the more books and codes that you have on hand, but I guess if you only have a couple of books on hand, you should be good, right? This one mainly applies to speedrunners and those trying to get a few couple extra seconds on their runs, but these guys were smart enough to realize you could run right through the fire chandeliers on the ground in order to gain more time instead of going around them. This is called damage boosting and it does help out quite a bit with some time even if it's an extra second or two. It all counts when it comes down to speed running. This one also needs no introduction but just go left a figure especially at the end of the game 
instant plus 50 IQ for you right there in order to beat the game easier and faster too without having to deal with that annoying heartbeat mini game. I guess sometimes you don't always need vitamins in order to hide away from Rush because if you're just fast enough to react and with a little bit of luck you can always just hide away from them in another room without having to waste time hiding in a closet. Oh yeah, I knew that room was coming up ahead. I was just using my mind reading powers. I actually didn't know this before, but some players have noted that you can spam the backwards button, especially after completing the elevator generator puzzle in order to back out of the game faster and save a couple seconds as well. Honestly, the tricks that some of these players come up with these days are just insane to me. Roblox Doors is just one of those games that ends up having a ton of glitches and bugs time to time. But how about being this player and pretty much luring figure into the quote unquote glitch corner? Here you can literally get figures stuck and not have to deal with them the whole entire time you're in the library in order to get the job done as peacefully as possible. Honestly, not a bad way to look at door 50 and they do say work smarter, not harder, am I right? Huh? Also, why even play the game normally as everyone else when you could be lucky and OP by being able to walk through walls, avoiding entities over and over again, such as Cardin Hong. Alright, this one was definitely a joke, but it was pretty cool to be able to see this actually happen within the game. Imagine if you were against your friends during a Roblox Doors race, but you had a huge trick up your sleeve in order to beat them. This was a savage moment, but Boyne Plays ended up using a soundboard from the game in order to troll unsuspecting players. Inside a voice chat during gameplay, they ended up playing fake Rush sounds in order to confuse players whenever a real Rush was coming or not. And they also used it on Screech's annoying psst sound as well, just causing more havoc and paranoia around the entire server. Just imagine if this was implemented with the Roblox voice chat inside the game. This could be a major thing that could happen when it does. But nothing is smarter than when Rush ended up calling back up against the mighty in this clip. Yeah, they actually thought about planning an ambush attack on the player by spawning in two rushes back to back without any major warning. Talk about coming up with the ultimate plan. But hey, do you want to instantly gain plus 200 IQ, especially when it comes to Roblox doors? Then you better smash that like and subscribe, and goodbye.